know, if I pull through, I bet he'll leave quicker. <clears throat> okay, as you go through the lot, if you don't have a vehicle, leave. There's a gentleman wearing a solid white shirt, and on his left sleeve is in green is the word Hollister. Um, he's been carrying a can around, so uh, he would be one to make contact with. He's on the phone right now. Okay. The shirt's real easy to pick out. He's, he really stands out. He's walked away from the rest of the people right now because he's making that phone call. He's to the, he'll be to the south of the group unless he changed, well, he's walking back toward them now. Well, it's whatever you think. If you think I need to hold off, I will, or if you want me to go ahead and go in and get him, I will. Nah, let's go ahead and intervene, if that's all right with you. 10-3. I'll watch here now. As, as the officer moves closer to see where they, if they've got anything, they'll try to hide it as soon as they see the police car. And he's coming from the opposite direction that I am, which we do that on purpose. Come with me. Where's your friend at? Who owns this truck? Over here. What's your name? Michael. Oh, good night. Any beer in here? I don't know. I don't have any in there. I'll take a bread lies or whatever you want me to do. Did he arrive here with you? Yes, he rode here with me. Do you have some more in here? I, I'm not sure, sir. If you do, come on. Let's, let's get the show on the road. No, get it out here. I'm just driving. I don't. You have no more? Mike, you mind if I look? I don't care. Go in there and look. Okay, Aaron's already got him. I had one, I gave one to my older buddies. You don't have any wallet on you, no ID, no nothing? Actually, I did. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Thank you. How would that look in front of all your friends though? I mean, you were kind of cocky with it out here just walking right around everybody. It was all I, I mean, did you have the attitude that nothing could happen to you or that we wouldn't do anything to you? I just didn't really think about it, sir. I would lose my job too if I was out acting silly, wouldn't I? Sorry. Would I? Probably. Yes, I probably would. Only one you've had, huh? Where's the rest of them at? They don't sell cans in a one pack. Huh. I got it out of my garage. You got it out of your garage? Yeah. So it's my dad's garage. I just took it. And you said you, you, you took some more for your older friends, too, because you said you had more, but you gave it to your older friends, right? Yeah. So you, you took just the right amount to give some away and keep one for yourself? I didn't take that many. He noticed it going. Take a deep breath and blow like a bone up a balloon. I'll tell you when to stop. That's good. There's a few, been a few law changes, and I mean, not only did I see you with it in your hand, but also if it's in your body, I can cite you for it no matter if it's in your hand or not. It means that you're being cited for a violation of the law. I'm going to write it through the city court. You can't drive right now. Yes. Okay, so ride with, with Mikey, get the alcohol out of your system, because if I pull you over again driving, even with the small amount that you've had, you're still over the zero tolerance law, so you would lose your license for driving. Missouri laws are very specific in stating that you must be a certain age to drink and possess alcohol. Anyone who is 21 years or older uh, and has a valid ID can, uh, can possess uh, alcoholic beverages here in the state of Missouri. Now, anyone under the age of uh, 21 can have uh, no possession of alcoholic uh, beverage and cannot be visibly intoxicated, uh, and should they have a alcohol uh, content within their bloodstream of over 0.02, uh, 
are deemed to be in possession of alcohol and so they can be charged with a misdemeanor violation of the law. I think some people would probably criticize um, us for taking some of our time to do this, saying, well, it's, it's only teenagers and it's only alcohol, but um, those people haven't seen the carnage that we've seen and those people haven't had to uh, attend a young person's funeral yet. This last year we had about uh, eight incidences involving alcohol here on campus and obviously uh, in law enforcement we have what's called the iceberg theory and the iceberg theory basically is that you're only seeing 10 percent of what's on top so that you're missing about uh, the other 90 percent. So if you take that uh, into consideration, you know, we're probably looking at about maybe 80 incidents that are actually occurring. We're only catching, we're only catching those eight. Because minors are not allowed to possess alcohol or have a certain percentage of alcohol in their bloodstream, there is a punishment for those who violate the law. A minor who's visibly intoxicated and has a blood alcohol content of 0.02 or higher can suffer a penalty of a minimum of $50 fine to a maximum of a $100 fine and or a jail sentence up to one year in the Butler County Jail. In Missouri, there are also provisions in place to punish bar and club owners who allow minors to drink, and this is also regulated by law enforcement. Anyone who is 18 years of age or older may enter into a bar uh, or alcohol, an establishment that provides alcohol. However, they cannot consume any alcohol until they're 21 years of age or older. Parents and property owners in Missouri are also not allowed to serve minors at private parties. These laws are designed to protect minors. If you are not 21 years of age or older with a, with a valid ID, you cannot accept an alcoholic beverage from an adult. And should the adult uh, provide uh, that uh, alcoholic beverage or even allow a person to uh, drink uh, on the property that they own or have possession of, uh, they are guilty of a crime. We have irresponsible adults that are that are buying alcohol for minors thinking, well, you know, that's, that's what I did when I was young and, you know, I never really got into any trouble, never did really bother me, you know, anything like that. Uh, there are some that we have that say uh, a philosophy that I totally don't agree with. I'd rather them drink here than to be out somewhere else drinking. And, you know, uh, my philosophy is <laughs> it shouldn't be drinking. You know, it's, it's it's pretty much that simple. As with all persons who break the law, adults who serve or host underage drinkers may be punished. Providing alcohol to a minor carries a penalty of fifty dollar fine to up to a thousand dollar fine, and a one year in the Butler County Jail. Laws regulating the drinking age in Missouri are not meant to be invasive, but are designed to protect our society and to protect young people in situations where they themselves risk violating the law. Alcohol is also responsible for uh, other crimes of violence, vandalism, school problems, uh, social interaction problems, and you know, all of those are preventable if you keep alcohol out of the hands of the people who aren't uh, old enough to possess it yet, you're, you're helping the problem. Know the law, obey the law, or pay the price.